Welcome back. We have another baking video and this time is the apple tatin, the famous French apple tatin tarts, which is basically this version. I'm using only the puff pastry, apple, any apple you want actually, you can even mix different uh, variety of apples butter and sugar that's it and uh, i will show you all the steps how to make it and also i'm going to show you how to make your own sugar ahead of the time the caramelized sugar uh, so you don't have to deal with burning the sugar the day when you're making it and then i'm going to show you also a small uh, an individual apple uh, we we can still call it the apple tatin uh, because it's upside down, you know, the, the, the pastry on the top and you flip it. But this one, the apple, uh, they're made from the apple sheets. Uh, this is a modern version. This apple tart is really simple. Uh, it has the, uh, this version, I'm going to use the puff pastry. And by the way, there will be a link how to make your own puff pastry. And if you don't have the time for that, it's okay to go and buy the one from the store. This tart, has only the apple and sugar and butter that's it and is one of my favorite apple tarts uh, because it has a lot of caramel and please stick with this recipe make it master it then start changing it if you want to or uh, create another version uh, from it here in the states we like the apple pie and the apple pie is between the two crust um it's it's okay but the, the two crust does not allow the apple to be caramelized and this version you can do that uh, plus in the american apple pie we put cinnamon here so i recommend you to not put the cinnamon until you try this version and, and until you eat it then do whatever you want okay promise so let's dig in On a medium-high heat, in a pan with a heavy bottom, put a very thin layer of sugar. We're doing what we call the dry uh, caramel, uh, sugar caramelization. You don't need to stir it. Just wait until it's melted. We're going to have a dark brown sugar. Then add a very thin layer of sugar. Wait until the whole thing is melted before adding another layer. You don't need to stir it, but you have to, if you have to, use a wooden spatula. And keep doing the same thing until you finish with all the sugar you are going to melt. Don't go anywhere, just be patient. And be careful. Once the caramelized sugar is ready, mahogany, brown, not dark uh, black, add the butter, keep stirring until everything is melted. At this point, you may remove the pot from the heat because it's quite, the sugar is quite hot, but make sure the whole butter is melted. We're going to use a deep apple tatin dish, which it looks like the American apple traditional dish. Here the, uh, the room temperature and the pan was quite cold, so that's why I end up with a, a big block of sugar. And I forgot the liner, so I have to put the liner back, put the sugar and the butter. I'm using also a cylindric individual uh, pan, which is going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
you know by now I love to do what we call la mise en place, meaning how can I prepare few things before I'm making any cake or any tarts. Here I'm doing the again the dry sugar caramelization, but this time I'm going to pour it on a silicon liner. So you pour enough so it doesn't go over outside the liner. And then we're going to spread it as much as we can. Be careful, it's hot. Uh, we want it to be as thin as possible. Then let it cool down for a few minutes. By the way, if you want to clean all these pads and pans from the sugar because it sticks everywhere, all you have to do pour a lot of water into the pot or the pan uh, with the spoon and let it boil and that's it and all the sugar will be melted so simple once the sugar cooled down peel it out of the liner break it in small pieces uh, it will fly away so be careful it's sharp also be careful then using a food processor you can grind the sugar and you have your perfect la mise en place meaning you can do this one day one week ahead of the time you can also use a blender then so when you grind this sugar you can put it in a jar and store it in room temperature uh, for a few days until you're ready to use it. I thought this is a nice tip. And remember, uh, this sugar has no butter, so you can use it anywhere. Uh, we did not add any butter. This is just plain caramelized sugar. Now we're going to move the, to the apples. I'm using the green Smith apples. Using a pair of knife, you're going to peel all the apples, remove the core, and you're going to cut them in half. Here I'm going to use my new fancy sheeter uh, using KitchenAid. Uh, you can create sheets from apples and potatoes. Once I have the apple sheets, uh, then I'm going to roll it to get uh, a cylinder of uh, 3 inches diameter. If you have good skin knife, you can do the same thing, but this machine, uh, it's magic and I love it, I use it all the time. Uh, to create these modern uh, new apple tata tart. Keep rolling and keep it tight. You really don't want to leave any sp space between the sheets. Then make sure this uh, apple fits the pan you're going to use. Here I'm using a cylindric pan and we want to leave some space between the apple and the side because that caramel is going to be liquid later during the baking process and it needs rooms so, uh, to go up above the apple. Uh, you cut 
the apple with the sheet from one side you don't need to cut the two sides you can and uh, so you have the clean cut the clean cut here we're going to put it at the bottom and you can see there is dozens and dozens of layers it's so beautiful and all that sugar will go up and to make sure we have the sugar on the top we're going to add the liquid su uh, caramelized sugar or the the dry one with a little bit of butter and then you place it in the oven that's it now we're ready to arrange our traditional apple tarts we're just going to snuggle all the pieces together on the other side uh, standing up and make sure they're really really tight because during the process of cooking those apples they're going to lose some liquid and they're going to be loose so make sure they're really really tight So place it on a baking sheet and add some regular sugar. We sprinkle with a little bit of regular sugar because our caramelized sugar lost some sweetness. So we're trying to add the sweetness back. Then we add the caramelized sugar as a ground sugar or liquid. It's up to you. Then we place the tart in the oven. For the crust we're going to use the puff pastry. You remember we have a video how to make your own or just go to the store and buy uh, the puff pastry. Um, using a cutter you can cut it into a round sh shape uh, into 9 or 8 inches. We're using here a decker to make some holes to help the steam to escape during the baking. And with the trims, we're going to make another shape, a smaller one. Get the apple tart out of the oven. Remember, it has been there for just for a few minutes. The apples, they're not cooked yet, just to get uh, the sugar uh, melted and uh, the cooking started. Then we're going to place the puff pastry on the top of the apples. And we absolutely want to make sure that the dough is tucked inside on the on the side of the pan we really want to make sure the dough is in completely inside then using a knife you're going to cut the dough in few places to help the steam uh, to get out during the baking process then we're going to return the apple tart back to the oven for the second version of apple tart, we're just going to bake the puff pastry separately by putting it on a baking sheet and uh, adding another baking sheet on the top of it to put some weight so it doesn't puff up. When the apple tart is completely baked, meaning brown, the crust is brown, using a knife, release the side from the pan, then Flip the apple tart into uh, a bowl to collect the juice because the apples they have a lot of water so they're going to be released so all that juice is just butter, sugar and the apple uh, liquid. Flip it in a, uh, in a plate, be careful it's hot and look at these beautiful apple tarts. You remember that line that we put in the pan? It's very helpful because it helps us to release those apples from the pan. 
uh, the syrup do not throw it out we're going to cook it until it reduces, until it's very thick and we're going to use it to brush the apple tart with With a pastry brush, brush the apples with this caramel syrup. It will uh, give uh, our tart a beautiful look, very shiny, and also it will help those apples to last longer. So you can uh, eat this apple t uh, tart today or tomorrow, even two days later. When you cut in through the apple tart with your knife, you can feel the apples, they're still firm, they are not too, uh, really soft, and that's what we want in this kind of apple tart. So we did not overcook these apples. For our second version of this tart, uh, the puff pastry was baked separately. So you release the apple from the pan, uh, you twist the, the puff pastry on it and you release it. Make sure you do that when the pan is kind of a little bit warm because the sugar will stick to, to the pan and it will be difficult to remove it. And here you brush, uh, you brush it again with this caramel sauce to give it that beautiful shine. And I like this uh, version because it's small and uh, the layers they are just beautiful and it, the taste is amazing did you see all these layers there is like uh, i think a couple hundreds of them I'm going to eat it for you. It's messy. Uh, it's it's beautiful. It's just delicious. Just apple and sugar and butter, and it's delicious. Another bite. Okay, another bite. Another bite. That is good. It's worth it. A little advice: when you make any of my recipe, please allow yourself to read. The full, uh, all the steps, watch the, the video again and again before you do anything. Then start uh, getting your ingredients, uh, follow what we call la mise en place, uh, meaning uh, prepare everything ahead of the time, go through the recipe. If you fail, that's okay because actually you succeed, you just don't know it. Why? Because you watch the video, you read the recipe, you went through it even if you're not happy with the result. So be patient. Uh, things like this, they need dedication, time, and passion. And you just take your time, repeat again and again, stick with the recipe, please. Do not try to change it, especially when you're going through the process of learning it. So do not uh, think about how to change this, how to add, how to remove, don't, don't do that. If you like the recipe, just go through it, finish it, then come back again another time, then change it any way you want to make it your own. But the first step is mastering it. That's kind of useful advice for anything in life, I think. Well, good luck. Uh, by the way, the way to eat this apple tart, uh, it's better to eat it out of the oven when it's warm with a scoop of ice cream. But you can always store it in the fridge for a day or two, it's going to be fine. And you can even freeze it, but it will not be as good as the one you're getting it from the oven. If you have any other suggestions, please leave them in the comments section. Leave your questions, your comments, your suggestions in the comments section of YouTube. You can also go to the site where you find the recipe and leave also your comment, your input, your questions. And I always answer them. And I hope to see you soon. 
I hope you liked this video. So if you did, please like it, share it with your family and your friends, and come back for more. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.